Greetings, friends. Please make sure that you watch out for this. There are two major changes for all Social Security recipients that will occur in just a few weeks. Many Americans are expected to be surprised by these adjustments. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video, especially if you receive Social Security benefits. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community. I will be announcing several winners at the end of this video. So please make sure, friends, that you do stay tuned. Get it. Thanks, good. I want to ask you about inflation. So you mentioned the price of eggs, milk, and gas are down over the past year. But what do you say to Americans who are looking at the month that President Biden came into office? Eggs are up 24 percent. Milk is up 17 percent. All types of gas is up 37 percent. And the prices overall are up 17 percent. So the president actually spoke to this not too long ago, I believe, uh, on Tuesday, actually, just a couple days ago. And he says, we know there's more work to be done, right? And, it, and that uh, things are still unaffordable. And so while the prices, as you just mentioned, of eggs and, and gas and milk and toys and TVs are down, especially in this time as we're headed into a, a holiday season, as we're in the holiday season, there's more work to be done. And that's important. And that's why we're fighting to lower in, in, insulin. That's why we're, we're t we talk about junk fees and how we can save Americans money, right? That's why we continue uh, to talk about health insurance premiums. That's why we're, we, the president's going to make an announcement about what we were able to do with the, one of the provisions that's in the Inflation Reduction Act that only Democrats voted for, not Republicans, in order for uh, seniors to get rebates uh, on, on their Medicare. So all of those things are truly important. And so that's why he's doing everything that he can to do that. And you have Republicans on the other on the other side of the aisle, right, who are talking about cutting taxes for the wealthy, big corporations, right, who are talking about cutting Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. So the president's going to continue to fight for the American people, continue to make sure they have a little bit of breathing room. Is there more work to be done? Absolutely. But we have seen some uh, some prices go down in all of the products that I just listed. We have. There's still more work to be done, and we're going to continue to do that work. But I want to ask you about right, the that, and that matters, right? It matters but, but that we're not in. No, wait, wait. Policy. It matters. It ma let's not forget what has been happening the almost two years now, right? Putin, right? Putin's war in, that was in, a year in the right, but that in has caused inflation. That has caused prices to go up, right? And so the president took action to make sure gas prices went down, which they have, right? And we co we're coming out of this pandemic. So all of those things have been a, have been part of the where inflation is. But inflation is moderating. The president's going to continue to make sure that we lower costs and lower prices on those goods that you just listed out. Lawmakers are aware that Social Security is a vital source of income for millions of retirees. And many workers will one day depend on the benefits. Yet Americans consistently score poorly on quizzes, assessing their knowledge of Social Security, including aspects of the program that impact their income on an annual basis. So for instance, Social Security benefits will receive a cost of living increase in 2024, and some workers will pay more taxes into the Social Security program. But a recent survey from a nationwide retirement institute, found that both changes may surprise many Americans. According to the Nationwide Retirement Institute, 70% of surveyed adults incorrectly agreed with this statement. Social Security is not protected against inflation. That misconception is somewhat surprising given the state of the economy. More than 60% of American households say have caused great financial hardship, and 15% qualify the hardship as severe, and this is according to pollster Gallup. In any case, Social Security benefits are indeed protected from inflation. Recipients receive an annual cost of living adjustment that keep their benefit income aligned with rising prices. So without those regular increases, Social Security would quickly lose buying power. For instance, what $500 could purchase in the year 2013 would cost about $658 today, and this is according to the Labor Department. The COLA for 2024 will be 3.2%, 
and that is a much smaller increase than the 8.7% COLA in 2023. But it still falls above the average increase of 2.6% during the last 10 years. Social Security recipients should receive a COLA notice by mail in December, detailing their updated benefit amount for 2024. According to the Nationwide Retirement Institute, 74% of surveyed adults incorrectly agreed with the following statement. Workers pay Social Security taxes on all of their income. That misconception is understandable. Social Security is primarily funded through a dedicated payroll tax. And Common Sense says that tax should apply evenly to all income. But the system does not work like that. Current law limits the amount of income subject to Social Security payroll tax, meaning that some workers do not pay Social Security tax on all of their income. Many policy experts and politicians see that as a problem. And several have proposed changes because workers with incomes above the cap are effectively taxed at a lower rate. In any case, the maximum taxable earnings limit is adjusted each year to account for changes in general wage levels. The limit is $160,200 in 2023. That means workers will pay Social Security taxes on all of their income up to $160,200, but any income above that limit is tax-free. Many retired Americans are set to receive a check from the second batch of this month's Social Security payments. This will be worth up to $4,555 for those who retired at age 70. But individuals who receive SSI benefits typically get paid on the first of the month. This can be a problem if the first falls on a weekend or a federal holiday when banks are closed, like it does on January 1, 2024. As a workaround, SSI payments are sent out on the previous business day. That means SSI recipients will receive their January payment on December 29, 2023, in addition to the payment they already received on December 1st. For SSI benefits, the standard federal payment will increase from $914 to $943 for individuals. The COLA increase applies for the first time in January 2024 Social Security and SSI payments which means SSI recipients receive their boost two days early. To my greatest and most beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you, dearish friends, for being part of this community. The winners of this week's Walmart gift card giveaway is Gina Lane and Diana Saylor. Congratulations, my dearish friends. To claim your gift cards, Please check your notifications page and send me a message. Or, dear friends, you could message me on my Facebook page. Thank you, and have a wonderful and very blessed Friday.